This video is about using the plotter during simulation in Automation Studio. We will see how to access the plotter, select variables to plot on the circuit, configure the visual attributes of curves, how to save and export the curves and data, and change the plotter options. The plotter is a useful tool and interesting way to analyze the variables from electrical and hydraulic circuits during simulation. There are two plotters in the measuring group. This first plotter is for standard circuits made with hydraulic, pneumatic, or electrical control library components. The second plotter is used for electrotechnical components. To measure a variable, choose a component from the circuit and drag it directly onto the plotter. A window opens showing the properties that can be plotted. For this example, choose the linear position and linear speed of this cylinder and select the wheel to set the output signal. Three variables have been plotted. To see them, click on this arrow to expand the window. Here it shows the two variables of the double acting cylinder, the linear position and linear speed, and one variable for the output of the steering wheel. The tooltip advises to right click to follow link. Select and right click. It goes directly to this variable. Now that the variables are set, the plotter is ready for simulation. From the Quick Access Toolbar, start the simulation. During simulation, control the command, which in this case is the steering wheel. The simulation indicates that the scale is not properly adapted to the values plotted. To adjust the scale, stop simulation. And now, configure the curve. Expand the window below for access to the properties. The linear position of the cylinder is measured in millimeters, from 0 to 1,000 millimeters. Click on the cylinder to see its properties. First, compare the stroke in millimeters. It's 500 millimeters. So go back to the plotter and adjust the maximum scale to 600 millimeters. For the linear speed, we can adjust the range to minus 5 centimeters per second to plus 5 and the output signal of the wheel is not minus 100 to plus 100, so adjust it to minus 10 to plus 10. The plotter reflects the adjustments made, and now with a narrower range, we have a better view of the plotted variables. Start the simulation again. Click on the wheel and use the mouse by left-clicking to move the wheel. This is a much better view of the plotter. Inside the window of the plotter, there are two sliders on the top right, which increase and decrease the visual scale horizontally and vertically. Select a curve and click on this Fit to Window button to adjust. The scale of the curve will be changed automatically. To return to the original size, click on the magnifying glass. Reset to default vertical scale. Increase and decrease the size of the plotter on the screen by resizing the window as you would in any other program. Click on the ruler button to measure points on the curve directly in the plotter. Measure the data in any direction or axes. On the linear speed plot, 
there are 3.21 seconds between these two points, and the amplitude of the signal is less than 1 centimeter per second. When a new simulation is started, the values of the previous simulation disappear. There are a few ways to keep a record of these curves. First, in order to keep the visual image, right-click on the plotter itself and copy the image to a file. The data can be exported to a text file. Select all of the variables and click on this button below. It exports and saves the data in a text file for reference and analysis. A text file has the name of the plot and the time lapse here in the first column, the value in the second. It appears this way even if more than one variable has been selected. In some cases, you may need to change the plotter options, like for example, when you need to use an overhead projector. Right click on the plotter to find plotter options. This opens the project properties and shows the general standards of the plotter and edit options. For instance, the background color of the plotter is black and the grid is gray. These can be modified. This window is used to set other parameters of the plotter. And for more information, the help file is always available by clicking on F1.